Really have, they really have, Richard, and it's all because of this stalled front. It's just not moving anywhere, so it just continues to set off just continuous showers and thunderstorms there across eastern and southern Texas. That rain is going to try to make its way towards us, but you can see what's happening. This happens a lot for our area. You can see the split going on, so these showers and storms likely continuing towards the Gulf Coast, and then we'll see the split off just towards the upstate, but I would imagine we at least keep the chance for a few showers out there late tonight into early tomorrow morning, so early morning commutes definitely could see a few raindrops. If you don't see rain, I would anticipate seeing some pretty dense fog. Currently speaking, though, there's not a ton of rain out to mention. This is just a very tiny shower moving south of downtown Washington up in Wilkes County, but not much to it. Wilkes County is actually currently underneath a dense fog advisory. The weather service there in Atlanta continued this until 2 a.m. Uh, late tonight. I would be I wouldn't be too surprised if we see more dense fog advisories tonight. It's going to be uh, just depend on how fast and how dense that fog does form as we head past midnight. The lake was definitely a foggy spot earlier today. This was just after it did break. A beautiful picture sent in by Anna Lush uh, up at Clarks Hill. Love seeing these pictures. If y'all ever want to send us a weather picture or video, you can send that very easily through our weather app. Here's a current picture from our Beach Island camera, and you can kind of see that we're just looking through very low level cloud cover, and this will just continue to lower and become fog as we head into tonight. Temperatures are very close to our dew point, so that means we're uh, pretty much at 100% humidity, which makes it easier for that fog to form. But these temperatures tonight could be close to record high minimum temperatures, only going to drop down into the 60s as we head towards daybreak tomorrow morning. And high temperatures going to be feeling more like spring, most likely mid 70s for us here in town, closer to 80 the further south you go. So uh, not expecting a necessarily a ton of rain tomorrow, but there's going to be the opportunity maybe for a few showers out there early. This will last uh, up until around 9, 10 a.m. Rain rates could be a little bit heavier than what we've seen the past day or so, but not expecting more than a half inch as far as rain totals. Once we get into the afternoon, there's those warm temps still continuing. Just a few hit or miss showers out there and even into tomorrow evening, tomorrow night conditions are just going to stay right for some showers and even thunderstorms. You can see for Friday high rain chances on and off throughout the day, not necessarily raining all day long, but could just see a couple rounds uh, throughout the day into the weekends. More storms expected Saturday. Those should clear out by around midday Sunday going to be breezy though for Sunday afternoon. Trouble